And I'm going to, I just want to toss some questions at you first on what's happening in the news. We've been covering because of what's happening in Colorado. Oh, man, on, I told him don't give me no educational come on, come stuff. On, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I told him no educational Kevin stuff. Kevin Hart, let me begin. Let me begin specifically with marijuana. It's been a couple of days since it's been legalized recreationally in Colorado. There's mm -hmm. been huge debates yeah. over whether this is a good thing. Yeah. What do you guys think? Well, first of all, uh, because of this, I, I went and basically set up shop in Colorado. I just got a little home down there just to kind of take a little off time. Enjoy, enjoy yourself, <laughs> well, legally just a, speaking. Yeah, just really see what this problem is about and kind of get into it, you know, to really, really engulf myself in with what's going on there. So the best thing for me was just to move to Colorado. So he's moving there. to Colorado, Cuba. Just for a second. What do you think? Do you think it's a good thing? I think California need to catch up. Uh, <laughs> California's behind? Yeah, California's behind. We was ahead, you know, a few years ago with the medical thing, and now California's behind. But, uh, you know, to each his own, you know, if you can, an adult and uh, you of age, you know, you think I'm, it's okay? I'm not... I'm not down with any restrictions on, on people that's grown. Well, me personally, I mean, I, all I know is I love God. So I don't, I don't know. What that else. got to do with anything, I don't know, but man. I know whenever Bringing... you don't know what to do, you just say, go to Jesus. That's what well, that's my mom told me. Well, some people disagree with both of you two. There okay. are a lot of critics out there. I want you to watch the monitors in here real closely, because this is going to be a clip from Nancy Grace. You know, okay. Nancy Grace, she's a former federal prosecutor. She's a big host on HLN. We had a, we had a discussion. Face. She does this face all the time. <laughs> we had a discussion yesterday, <laughs> and, and she basically was not, not so um, subtly inferring that those who smoke dope uh, are lazy and sit on the sofa and eat their chips. Roll you tell it. them, Nancy. Roll it, roll it. Not a good idea. Okay. I, look, I don't want, when I'm at work, I don't want my babysitter high on pot. Hmm. All right? Does anybody? Do you want your children? Do you want your parents, your sister, your brother? to be taken care of or driven around by somebody on pot because it's okay in Colorado. I know people are screaming at the television agreeing with you I'm sure. and vehemently disagreeing with hey, you. Hey, look, the ones that are disagreeing are lethargic sitting on the sofa eating chips. Oh, pot. that and is a fat blanket statement, and lazy. Nancy Grace. There. Uh, yeah, that got a little pickup on the yeah. internet. She's yeah. called my grandpa lazy. I know. My grandpa got glaucoma, man. And, <laughs> and Nancy, your, your babysitter already high. Anyway, don't <laughs> Why is Nancy? I just don't like Nancy's angry face. Look, <laughs> her eyes get real big, her face gets narrow. So I take it we're disagreeing with Nancy. Now, listen, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Here's yeah. my problem with these reporters, not including yourself. You're excluded from this. Just because they have an opinion and they're passionate about their opinion, it doesn't make it right. Several people have an opinion, and that's what opinions are for. Everyone has a different view on life. Yeah. So what you think is not what another person thinks. That doesn't make you right. doesn't make them wrong. It's hard for people to come and find an agreement and find in the media. you got to understand that. Okay. Some people think that's great. Some people don't. Me, personally, it's not my life. I don't live it. I don't need it. So it I mean, doesn't affect me. I am I am not going to sit here and opine, but I want to move on because I want to talk about this new SNL cast member. Uh, let me get her name. Her name is Shazir Zamata. She is the first African-American female cast member of what the biggest comedy, most classic comedy sketch series in this country. It's been five years. What's taken them so long? Uh, you know what, man? I mean, people, people tend to put a race issue on everything. You know, SNL has existed for years. Uh, I, was, I was a person who auditioned for SNL. I didn't get SNL. It had nothing to do with my race at the time. I wasn't right for the part. Uh, I'm quite sure several women of all races have been going out for SNL and yeah. who've been turned away. What people don't understand is there's literally one part that's available uh, every two seasons or a season and a half, how Lauren Michaels does this, yeah. his system. So, you know, who he picks who he feels should be in that one part. Whoever is most yes, qualified, whether, no whether matter Whether it's male or color. woman. They, they've made this the black woman thing an issue, and I don't think it's fair to other black women because other black women stand and go, yeah, 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 we do need a chance. And now you got 3,000 black women coming out for this one opportunity for what seems to be the black woman part. So you like, say much to do about nothing. Yes, much it's, it's, it's nothing. so much about okay. nothing. Congratulations to her. Okay. She had an audition. She got the part, not because she okay. was black, because she was qualified. Dennis Rodman in North Korea, he uh, has this bizarro friendship with the dictator, Kim Jong-un, mm -hmm. who uh, apparently executed his uncle a week ago. Mm -hmm. All kinds of human rights atrocities. Atrocities, nuclear weapon, by the way, over there. And here he is. He goes over to North Korea with a bunch of his former NBA ballers to go play a game. Now, he says no bigs. Um, mm -hmm. This is just a game of basketball. But do you think this is a good idea? Should he be over there? Of course. You know, uh, basketball, it's a, it's a sport that people love all over the world. It's brought people together all over the world. It's brought many foreigners here to the NBA. Uh, and we got a chance, you know, in the Olympics, 
you know, basketball has become very competitive. And, it's unifying, you know, but it, this is North Korea. It's a game that brings people together. But so this is North Korea. That doesn't it, bother it, you? It could bring, you know, at one time, uh, the United States wasn't talking to China until... Ping uh, pong diplomacy. Yeah, so, you know, sports have always been a way mm -hmm. to uh, set down the political things, you know, and uh, find some common ground, and you build from there. Don't ask me that question, because I don't know.